Hello everybody, it's Anthony from Signature Real Estate Group and today we're going to be looking at KB Homes. These are townhouses and it's the very last one. Ascent is the community right across from Obsidian by Woodside Homes. So if you love living in Summerlin and you want a townhouse, no maintenance, no backyard, none of that stuff, this might fit the bill. This one's listed for $449, 750 bucks. It's planned 1598, which is also 1598 square feet. Sits on a 2178 square foot lot. Three bedrooms, two and a half bathroom. So it's the one with the 11600 address. So if I turn around, if you have guests come over, they'll have to park right here on the streets since uh, there's no parking in the back side, I'll show you guys in a second. A little courtyard. So if you wanna put a little table here, have your morning uh, coffee, biscuit, that kind of stuff. All right, let's go inside and check out this beautiful house. And if you are new to my channel, give it a quick like, give it a subscribe, hit the notification bell. And welcome to KB Homes. So this house is moving ready. If you guys are interested, the builder is accepting offers. And if you need more information, just contact me or give me a call or check the links below. So all the bedrooms in this house, they're all upstairs. We do have an HOA in this community. There's two HOAs actually. There's a $124 and a $55 master plan HOA. So $179 is your total HOA. $10,000 is your earnest money deposit, $4,000 annual tax. There is a $6,655. $6,655 is your SID balance, which is paid annually at $471. I know I said a lot of figures, but if you guys need this information emailed to you or need more information, just call me. I'll be more than happy to send it over to you. Let me go check out this pantry real quick. Okay, so we've got upgraded flooring. As you can see, there's uh, no carpet. I mean, once you go upstairs, you'll have carpet, but we got granite counter, undermount sink, Sterling brand actually. What does the sticker say? Oh, it's a warranty. Oh yeah. 42 inch upper cabinets. They are soft closing cabinets, I believe. Let's try them out. Um, maybe not. No, I was wrong about that part. So a six pack of lights, a pair of recess lights, and then the living room area. We have this nice little chandelier here, which I almost hit. <laughs> You'll put a table right on the bottom. I think that's what it's meant for. So what do you guys think? You like it so far? You walk in, living room, kitchen area, and the kitchen area is 12 by 10. Under the stairs. Oh yeah, this thing is pretty deep. So let me go back and look at this, uh, look at this pantry. Yeah, it's a, so it's a itty bitty pantry. So what I would do is, I would just put more shelves here and make this into a pantry if that little one is too small for you. Two car garage is right over here. Where is the switch? Oh, I guess that didn't work. Let me try that again. Maybe not. Third time is a charm. Maybe, maybe I have to hold it. That's what it is. I don't know why, but all right. Welcome to the back of the house. So that was front of the house. This is back of the house. As you can see, there is no street parking. It's all painted red. And that is the entrance on the side. All right, let's go back inside and it's freezing out here. 
Next to the garage, we have our downstairs powder room. Not bad. All right, now, now it's time for me to go upstairs. This house is cold. Once you're on the second floor, there's not much to do over here. You have two rooms on my left and you have the primary plus the laundry room. So this is the laundry room. The laundry room has all the hookups. You got your drain pan, no shelves. I mean, uh, no cabinets, just a shelf. We do have the smart panel box upstairs in the laundry room. So the smart panel box, basically all of your internet organizing. And welcome to your primary bedroom. Little closet. So this is the window from the primary bedroom if you're looking out. This is the neighborhood. Very, very simple. Couple of recessed lights, and we also have a pre-wiring to add a ceiling fan. All right, let's go check out this bathroom. Also, the primary bedroom is 16 by 14. Linen closet. We have our water closet with a window and our shower what do you guys think of this shower we have a couple of vanities let's do a quick water pressure check Ooh. Here's one more look at our bathroom. And let's go check out the other two rooms. Here's our second bedroom. This is 11 by 10. And so is the, the next room. Just a very simple room. Carpet, no lights, pre-wiring for a ceiling fan. And this should be identical, yeah. So Summerlin Homes, Townhouses, KB. Let me know what you guys think. You like it, you hate it, you see yourself living in a townhouse, or are you the type that prefers having your own landscaping, your yard, and you have a dog, and you know you want a backyard, you can't see yourself living here, then if that's the case, then <laughs> this house is not for you. If you guys want to learn more about this house, give me a call or check out the links below. And make sure to like the video, share and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.